Hi friends, Coin here, coming to you from beautiful downtown Kanchi. I thought maybe we could all use a little meditation during Holy Week here, in the midst of all the chaos that's going on around us. So I just uh, offer this to you, uh, if you want to take about 10 minutes out of your day to uh, do a little guided meditation, uh, I think it might be helpful for all of us. So uh, let's just begin. Before we begin, I just ask you to uh, relax your body. Uh, if you want to, close your eyes. Uh, relax your neck, your shoulders, your arms, your legs. Feel all the tension flowing out of your body into the air in just a way. Now be very still and listen to the rhythm of your own breathing. Feel your breath go in and out, in and out. Let's begin. In your imagination, place yourself somewhere where you'd like to be. Maybe it's a place where you've met Jesus before. Maybe it's a different one. You choose because anything is possible in your imagination. Why not make it your favorite time of year? Make the weather suit you today. Be there in your imagination and wait for Jesus to join you. He does join you almost right away. As he comes into sight, you go to meet him. He's obviously glad to see you. Hear him tell you how glad he is to be with you again. As usual, he asks you what you were just doing. Sometimes your answer to that question would be, not much. Today, it's different. He asks you if you've been thinking about a verse from the Bible. For I, the Lord, am your God, and you shall make and keep yourselves holy, because I am holy. Now, that's not your usual line of thought, but there's something in this verse that puzzles you. You don't have trouble with the idea of God being holy, but the idea of you being holy, of making and keeping yourself holy, well, that might need a little explanation. Perhaps Jesus asked you to think of qualities that you would use to describe God. Maybe qualities such as loving, forgiving, patient, understanding, generous, and so on. Let's call these God qualities. Then he asks you to think of someone you know who has some God qualities. Who is it? Tell Jesus about this person. Jesus, a great storyteller himself, might ask you to share a story about this person. It may take some time to choose just one, but that's okay. Take the time to remember and then share your story with Jesus. Jesus explains that God is all holy. He tells you that you are holy when you act in a God-like manner, when you live your life with generosity, understanding, patience, then you are holy. Yes, you, you are holy. What an awesome statement. Just think about that. Do you tell Jesus that being holy is what you want? but you're a little bit worried about being able to live up to that calling? As usual, Jesus is reassuring. He wants you to know that you don't become holy all at once. You grow in holiness. You'll make mistakes, but that's okay. You can always learn from them and try again. He reminds you that the Holy Spirit is always with you to guide you. Jesus says that he himself will help you anytime you need him. Does this make you feel better? Go with Jesus now deep into your heart. You've discussed a lot with him already. So now just rest in his love. Words are no longer needed. Be still together. Know how much he cares for you. You recognize that it's time to go now. 
If you want a special blessing from Jesus, just ask for it. Remember to thank him and then say your goodbyes. Gradually, bring yourself back to the present moment. Straighten up, stretch, plant your feet firmly on the ground. Look around you. We're all back. Thank you all for giving me this time to share this with you. Wish you all the happy and blessed Easter. And I can't wait to see all of you real soon. See ya.